Many people would consider this to be an SAP user experience, but that's ultimately what it is. And um, in a second here, what we'll do is... Might just have to raise your right hands for the two, three, three. <laughs> <laughs> What we're doing is taking uh, Matthias' blood pressure with a standard blue, uh, blood pressure, Bluetooth-enabled blood pressure um, monitor that's then going to be connected up to this um, HealthPal device from MedApps. And that's a company that's basically um, a fairly young startup company that's building these kinds of devices for going into uh, in-home healthcare and reading, you know, getting all kinds of readings from patients and then transmitting that up into their uh, medical environment. And then what we've done is taken uh, Live Enterprise Event Insight and subscribed it to the MedApps event streams that are happening then taking that data and pushing it into the SAP CRM system on the back end, which we've modified to be a patient health record management system. And then from there, we actually are using the micro applications work that we've done for the last uh, few years. And we're pulling that data from the SAP system live from behind the firewall into an iPad application or an iGoogle front end or any channel, anytime, anywhere, any device kind of uh, scenario. Your blood pressure rate is 139. What was it before? 140. Oh, well, one less. Yay. Okay, you're, you're improving. Um, so <laughs> normally this would basically um, wake up at some point in time and then transmit the data. I'm going to force okay. it to do that right now, just so we can show this end-to-end <coughs> -end complete scenario. Um, can you pass me my iPad for a second, Mark, please? So right now, and this is a cellular device, obviously. It's just going on the standard uh, GSM network or 3G. So what we've done is we basically took Event Insight and we wrote uh, adapters uh, to speak HL7 and other healthcare protocols that are standard in the industry. And that then allows us to tap into all kinds of healthcare solutions throughout the whole world and start creating these kinds of uh, solutions. Um, so it'll take about um, another 60 seconds, maybe 90 seconds for the whole transmission process to occur. Uh, it's fairly slow on the cellular the network to get the data up. But what will eventually happen here is that I've got um, an iPad application that we created, which is again just a, a concept of what a consumer experience might be that you're in the home and you're trying to um, manage your health. And you've been told by your doctor to take your readings several times a day and then transmit that data up. And, um, you know, this is again leveraging. SAP on the back end, this application will pull data from our server in Latvia uh, in, in real time when this thing gains. Can it trigger some kind of alarm? Like, you know, my, my grandmother is you know, broadcasting this somewhere. And I can it trigger an alarm, for instance, it's, it's behind some boundaries or some... Uh... Yeah, so we, the Event Insight engine has the okay. rules and tolerances that you can set. Okay. It's all customizable. We don't really care what the, the endpoints are, where the events are coming from. You just tell us what you want to do when those events occur or when those events don't occur, which is actually equally important, right? Um, so you heard the ding saying that the transmission was complete, so now I'm going to um, reload um, to get the fresh data, assuming the network is behaving. So, what does it say? In the 40 over 100. Oh, 139 and 89. Okay. Yeah, so <coughs> his health reading just been taken. And it's green, nice. Yeah. And like I said, we repurposed SAP CRM for this and built the iPad application um, and built the iGoogle front end, which I can show you as well. And there's Mark's reading, 139 over 89. And you can drill down, explore the application more, do all that kind of good stuff.